Okay, uh, today I'm going to uh, make a, a teapot with this kind of uh, handle, bamboo handle. So, <clears throat> this is a little bit bigger. So I can measure it and uh, see approximately how much I need to uh, make it so it will be uh, on the shoulder. So this will be uh, quite a bit of a big teapot. And also I like to uh, put the uh, texture, the uh, roller texture on the teapot. Um, this is the uh, texture from uh, MKM. Um, this texture, there's a model number on this one is uh, uh, MKM. RM028. Okay. MKM RM028. Uh, and also, I'm going to uh, throw up the hum. Okay, so I throw approximately the uh, size of my uh, cardboard cylinder and I'm going to insert this into my drone form. using a uh, wooden rib to remove the uh, throwing mark and also to make the surface smooth so when I roll the texture it will be uh, nice and clean and clear So I will uh, roll it uh, up to here, so leave about uh, 2 inches without rolling over because later on I'm going to uh, make the uh, shoulder and also make the rim. So this part I don't want to mess up, so I will just stop right there. Right, so this is the uh, MKM RM028 and uh, I always tell you that in order to uh, get it, uh, get the uh, texture nice and clean, uh, I can dip it in the water so that uh, you don't get the clay stick on 
the rotor and hold on to the uh, the cardboard Right, so I got the uh, texture all over the whole circle. And then uh, the reason I'm putting the uh, cabo because uh, uh, when you roll, if you don't have a support inside, then uh, your texture is not going to be uh, deep enough. So that cabo, this cabo is served for supporting on the inside. So let's pull it out. And, and um, my tip for you is if you want it easier to pull it out, uh, put two pieces, two layers of a newspaper so that uh, it, your uh, cardboard will be easy to, uh, to remove after you compress it. So pull out easily, and then uh, since the uh, newspaper is absorbing all the slipping water, so actually after you pull it out, the inside is gonna be uh, dry. So uh, you wanna before you stretch it, you might wanna put uh, some water so that it will be slippery. So I'm using a sponge to. Apply some water on the inside of the cylinder. So I just lightly stretch using the sponge. Okay, so I am now using my uh, my hand. I the trust more of my hand. I have more a better feeling with my using my fingertip. So I'm basically forming like this on the inside and push it out. And you're going to do this slowly.
the uh, body has been uh, stretched and then I'm gonna take care of the, uh, the rim and the shoulder Make sure the shoulder is wide enough. It's probably not wide enough. So it's not quite wide enough, so I'm going to expand the shoulder a little bit more. The uh, teapot body is done before I remove it. And I want to make sure the, uh, the lid is fitting so I measure it.
so I'm making the lid for the teapot. So this lid is going to be uh, upside down lid that uh, later on I'm going to trim the knob. First, I will make the uh, base a little bit smaller since I'm going to trim the nub, the nub is small so you don't need to have so much clay here and then um, just open up a small shallow small shallow bowl with the side a little bit uh, thicker so later on you should have you will have a room for making the gallery so a little bit thicker here and then um, just use fingertip to uh, compressed it so you will see the roughly shape of the lid coming out before I compress the gallery I need to make sure that it's not too small or too big. Okay, so this is a little bit big, so I could uh, squeeze the clay to the middle so it will be smaller. Right, and then for the gallery to uh, sit on the body I usually use the uh, this 90 degrees rib, the wooden rib so just support on the inside and use the uh, 90 degrees to uh, squeeze it make the, the rim of the lid a little bit thinner so just by pulling it out let me double check it again right so the size is almost fitting so I will do the final clean up In the little part, I usually tell the people that I make the fitting a little bit not quite a per perfect fit. Okay, it's either uh, the lid a little bit bigger or that the uh, the body a little bit smaller. So when I'm ready to uh, fit them together, when I'm ready to trim. I, I could remove either a little bit clay here or a little bit clay on the body so they will just fit perfectly the 
So when you are making a teapot, the fitting is very important. So the lid is down. Um, I want to have enough room for making the nap. So I'm pushing the clay down a little bit. So I have um, more clay for making the nap. Next, I will make a spout for the teapot. And for making a spout, I usually get a this is the uh, popsicle stick. So when I'm coloring, making the uh, spout motor, the uh, wall is getting thicker. So I'm using this to uh, to thin it down, insert it inside the spout, and then I just thin down the wall. For making the uh, spout uh, usually make a small bottle shape like a small bottle When you're making smaller thing, uh, you wanna uh, increase the speed of the wheel. So you can see that I usually throw uh, when I'm throwing my speed of the wheel isn't as fast as now. So I'm insert the uh, popsicle stick 
and then I use my left thumb to uh, squeeze it to thin down the wall. When I'm throwing the spout, I always uh, constantly check in, see if the uh, size of the spout isn't too big or too small to, uh, to fit it. to remove the throwing mark. So this is the spout and I usually like to bend the spout so it's not a straight okay so when you uh, attach it and the spout has a little bit angle a curve so that that, that the uh, the water that the tea flow T flow better. So before I remove it from the wheel head I usually used a heat gun or torch to dry it. So you don't want to over dry it as long as the uh, the surface is not as slippery that you will not have your finger mark on it. Uh, you have to stop if you over dry it when you bend the uh, the spout might crack. So this is the uh, spout. Um, I usually bend it so there's a little curve for the spout I usually cut okay this is the middle part so I cut it I open it up a little bit. And when I bend it, this part is kind of going lower, so I would just go in there and push it up so the whole sh shape of the spout looks a little bit better. So just to push it up. And this part I push down further, so. I get a better curve. Okay, 
so now you can see that the curve little curve for my spout okay so I will just let it dry this way and then uh, I'll try to assemble when it is ready okay thanks for watching